Hi, I'm Carl from the Woodshop TV, and today I'm going to turn a green bowl. This is London Plain Tree. I just got done turning this little hollow form here. I packed it full of shavings and put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't crack before I can get back to it. But I'm, we're going to turn the bowl. I'm going to try and turn it pretty thin so I don't have to come back and do it again. And the wood on it, I don't know, all the pieces are a little bit different, but this is it's pretty plain, so I'm thinking about coloring it, but I'm but I'm not sure. But we'll get back to that one later. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock all the corners off. It's kind of a long process, and then when I get it trued up, we'll come back. Help support the companies that support our community. I have it pretty much trued up, so I'm just going to go ahead and come around and give it its basic shape and put a tenon down on this end so we can grab it in the chuck. There we go, it's about 11 and a half inches across and six and a half inches tall. And I turned the wall thickness down to just under a quarter of an inch. So what I'm gonna do with it now is throw it in a paper bag with the shavings and I'll take it out once a week and kind of mix it up until it dries. And then we'll get it sanded up. So it'll be, be a little while before I get it finished, but it's a lot of fun turning green wood. Uh, word of warning though, if you have a lathe that doesn't have stainless steel bed on it, make sure you clean everything off before you go in and put a coat of oil on it. You don't want it to rust on you. All right, uh, a couple of things. I got a blank. Jim from Woodsong Studios gave me a blank when we were down at the beach. And I'm going to turn this piece here on the lathe tonight on Twitch. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but we're going to turn that piece and see how it comes out. And this one here, I think I'm saving. I'm going to do a, another gear shift knob out of it. I talked to the people at the, the website that I was talking about the other day, and they said there's master inserts you can put in them. So I think uh, we got all that figured out. So I'll talk a little bit about that when I turn that one. But I'll put a link down below to that website again if you're thinking about making your own gear shift knob. It, it, gives you all the sizes and everything. We were gonna do, and I know, I <laughs> at the demo I said we were gonna do a different project, but this wood came up on Craigslist on Monday and we ran and got it and I really wanted to see what it looked like and that's why we switched gears and, and turned this. It's kind of a plain wood, but I think maybe uh, some dye or something might look really cool. I think the hollow form that I did, I'm gonna maybe dye that. We'll, we'll see, we'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna be, before I get it finished, but I'm not sure. All right, uh, the other thing is too, remember we're always on live on Mondays. If you have any questions, please come over. It's 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, 
this Monday, what we're going to do is I'm going to take a smaller piece of the same wood. And we're going to turn a green bowl live. So if you have any questions about turning uh, green wood or anything, uh, swing on over there and uh, ask away. All right. If this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday. I hope to see you there. And we're always live on Monday at 4 p.m. All right. Till next time. Take care.